we do not get another electro power of course we do yeah we are doing we're <laughs> uh, that that is not cool that is not <laughs> we shouldn't do you shouldn't do that so let's go ahead with another game and let's see if we found this time so this game oh it's a uh, water type plain water type We go first, and that doesn't app. Uh, yeah, that usually does not happen. <laughs> we have only the Zapdos, so that is not a good scenario. Like it's not good to have only one Zapdos. It's definitely not a good start. You technically you always want at least a, Jira a Jirachi in play. But yeah, what can you do? So at, at, at least at least he has three Pokemon, so we can already play. Uh, so it's a ah, oh, it's, it's a Gary Gyarados. Oh. It's uh, an annoying deck this one. So we can use the uh, the, the Ultra Ball to get ourselves a Jirachi, and then we are going to Goods. We, I don't want him to use Beacon. That's why I'm going to Goods Ma the Magikarp in. Assign this. And also, I want to put my Jirachi in, of course, and use Stellar Wish. We get pretty much nothing, but I guess the Electro Power could be useful. So the Gyarados has uh, Lightning Weakness, but with the Zapdos, we don't. Did uh, the, the Zapdos attacks is not affected by my weaknesses. My, well, I'll take the Ultra Ball then. Zapdos attacks is not affected by weakness, which is bad, but yeah, it's okay. Otherwise, it would be probably too strong. So we're going to pass, and hopefully it's not going to... Um, so I'm assuming he will retreat it for the Vulpix. Yes, of course, because now he can, he can draw... Uh, you can use Beacon and get either other Magikarp or uh, Gyarados directly. One Magikarp and one Gyarados. We are going to k take maybe yeah. We are going to take the KO or the Volpix, which is okay, but still uh, not the Lily. Uh, well, we m could use the Lily. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the, let's use it. We get another G another Jirachi, but most importantly, we get the Volkner. Actually, is going to be useful. We take the K over the Volpix, which is not bad because he has only one Gyarados now. Him having only one Gyarados is actually pretty good because uh, we can knock it out. We can knock the Gyarados. Oh well, he probably he probably has others in his end anyway. So it's 150 HP. We need a lot, lot of. Uh, so we might want to get the Jolteon here. <laughs> we might want to look for the Jolteon at some point, <laughs> or the Coco, or any uh, anyone else. So he has two other Vulpix and one Magikarp. So he's going to attack and most likely take the KO. There are four energy, so it's 120. This was very no, 150. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Discarded one Gyarados though, which is maybe good for us. So we find another Zapdos energy, Stellar Wish. We get. We are looking for Nest Bolts now. Okay, I don't want to use the Volkner, so I'm going to take the Electro Power here. Because I'm going to use the Erika's Hospitality. So we do 80 uh, plus 100 plus 60 is 110, 140, sorry. So it's going to survive. Crap. So what do we do? We cannot play the Erika's Hospitality. Not necessary. Well, we could. Okay, this is not a good situation to, to be in. We don't have any. Oh well, we will get an energy anyway. So let's take the nest ball and the energy. 
we would keep the Ergos Hospitality for next turn. Get the uh, EV and evolve it into the Jolteon. Oh wait, already assigned, okay, never mind. So let's just uh, retreat and do 80 damage. It's a shame this is that that attack is not affected by weakness. It would be really helpful if it was. We might want to take the Coco G, uh, the Coco Prisma, the Coco Prism Star with this, uh, with the Ultra Ball, because it's going to knock us out. Yes, of course. One hundred ten damage. Oof. It's a lot of damage. This deck is really brainless, but. It does what it needs to do. Uh, it's I guess the boots, but not that we are going to use it. But so we don't need the switch right now. Uh, I don't think we do need it. So let's get the jolt here. We need this, Coco. Use this ability. Assign energy to these two guys here. So then we can use Erika's hospitality finally. We get the third electro power, which means that we are going to be able to knock someone out with the Zapdos later. But so far, I'm going to put the Jolton in. So honestly, I will do the Swift Run GX so that later he cannot knock me out. I think that's the safest move. Huh? Even though I would, I would take the knockup easily. I might, I should have maybe promoted the Zapdos here. No, but then it, no, it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't need to KO me every turn. That's the the whole point. We need to avoid him getting KOs every turn. So now I don't know why he did that. Maybe he has a, an escape rope or a counter catcher, but he's not. Oh, flip a coin, of course. Because a counter catcher, you don't flip a coin. But he, you need to be to have less prizes than me. In this case, he does not have less prizes than me. Okay. I mean, he has already the magic herbs and the Gyarados here. So, and the magic herbs are already there. They two evolved and one is here. So, he cannot evolve this magic herb unless he recovers the Gyarados somehow from the from the uh, discard pile. Oh, we cannot attack. Uh, we can assign the energy. I don't want to... <sighs> That's uh, not a good situation, still. I don't have any switch, but I have the Tatanalyzer, so I'm going to retreat the for the, the Jirashi here. Use a Stellar Wish. Get an X-Ball, which is actually useful. Because I want another Zapdos. Or even the Zero Aura could be useful here. I'm going to take, use the uh, Titan Lizer to get my Jolteon in. So that I can knock it out. So he has just one more Gyarados to go. And he has yet to... He needs souls... He, 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 he still needs to recover some of the cards from... From the discard pile. Because he has three Gyarados in the discard pile now. Three Gyarados and two magic herbs. He needs some... In some we need the rescue stretcher basically. Because he needs to recover them from... Or yeah, exactly. So he's going to put them in the deck, I guess. No, he takes it into his hand. Hmm, I doubt that it's a good move. Eh? So he's going to take the KO now? No, no, he's not going to take the KO. That's actually ideal. That's really, really ideal for us. Oh, still to the Zera Aura. Uh, I don't have again and nothing. I have nothing to switch, so I think I will just have to sacrifice the 
No, I will not sacrifice the Jolton. Not at all. So we need three electro power, right? Because now it's uh, yeah, 68, 140. We need the third one. Yes. We can also play the Erika's Hospitality now. Three energy is, is a little bit too much, but okay. And we can KO with the Zapdos. Uh, no, oh, okay. The Thunder Mantle is actually helpful. And we have also the Coco in hand, so we are in a pretty good position. He's going to take the K so he. I still think he shouldn't have taken the use the, res the rescue stretch just to get one Gyarados. I think he should have taken three into the and and shuffle them in back into the deck, so that he, he never used the. By the way, he never used the Crusher sh Crusher Wake, which means that something is not going as it's supposed to be in in, in his deck because yeah, he's always discard. I guess it's also bad luck. Uh, but yeah, you need to be able to use the Crusher Wake. You need to do, to be able to use them. So you can retreat, go promote the Jirachi, Stella Wish, and you find the Volcaner, which is okay. Then we can switch. So this deck is very versatile, and I love it for that. It's really, really versatile. The our deck, I mean. Shuffle three Pokemon, we shuffle the Zapdosis. Not that they are very useful right now, but still. Then Thunder Mountain. Uh, sign, I don't know, to the Jolteon. No. Yeah, well, to whoever. And then attack with the Plasma Fists. So we don't care that much about the fact that we cannot attack next turn because next turn worst case scenario we promote someone when we put the Tapu Koko with GX and we get the KO with the Tapu Koko GX. So in this game also it was really helpful. So first of all the weakness, weak, the fact that he has weaknesses to us didn't impact it at all because uh, both with the well maybe with the Jolteon we were not uh, we were not we would have not been able to take uh, all those KOs. Uh, with the Jolteon if it wasn't for the weaknesses, but with the Zerora that problem would wouldn't be there Also, we could I we had three electro power in hand for we had had three electro power in hand for a long time We could have just used one to get a KO with the Jolteon with the Coco. So well, of course, of course then it helped <laughs> having the weaknesses having the weakness, but uh, you can see you, you have foreseen you had seen you have seen like um, how useful can the Jolteon GX can be so at one turn we we used it even with, with against the Gyarados that was almost dead already but we used that so that we could prevent the KO on the next turn and then I think I think he missed he misplayed a bit uh, because he could have promoted the Vulpix to sacrifice rather than promote the other Gyarados that was for sure going to die uh, it is true also that he used the, the catcher uh, but yeah you don't want to rely on coin flip dependent cards so you cannot blame anyone if then you get you get uh, if then you get tails it's not a safe it's not a safe move to play a to play a card that involves a coin flipping so the only one that I would play is the timer ball just because you get two you get two uh, coins to flip so you get a slightly higher chances, but this never happens to me. Th starting three times as first, as first, it never happened to me. So, so this is not a good start either because we have uh, only the Zeraora. He's playing a, and also he's playing a, a fighting deck, apparently. Oh, which okay, it's a Zoro Rock, I guess. Yeah, let's get. Things like uh, no, no, the Eevee, the Jirachi, and the Zapdos. We need a bunch. We need to form a, a, a bench, basically. <laughs> it's simple as that. Can okay, retreat him. Let's put the Zapdos here. With the choice band that we are going to use, for use, and now hopefully we will get a, a Lily here. We don't get a Lily, we get another Nest Ball, plus a Cynthia, so I would rather use the Cynthia here rather than the... I would rather use the Cynthia than the Titan Lyza. So let's go with that. Hopefully we need we need something helpful in the short term. 
we find we find something helpful in the short term okay it's uh, now now it became pretty good actually so now it's going to I cannot evolve the Zorua. He needs to fill his bench, uh, just as we did. So yeah, field blower for the choice band. It's actually bad. Band uh, act more importantly for the escape board. Wait, he didn't. Wait, can he discard two? Two in any combination of Pokemon. Two cards in stadium place. I don't know why he did not discard the escape board. He could. He could have discarded. Ooh, that's Lily for three in the first turn. It's very not good. Not it's less than ideal. He has a Rockruff Lele, but he already used the support of this turn, so we are the uh, we are good, I guess. So he's going to lose the Zoroa, yeah, which is good for us, for sure. But then the the Rockruff is rather scary. So he take a good sma, okay. He cannot use it now, anyway. He already used the Lily. Choice band to the Rockruff. Yes, that Rockruff. We might use a good sma now. I would. I would I would want a good sma. Honestly, I would enjoy a good sma right now. So still I wish. We do not get the goal. Hopefully I never get the card that I need. I really never get the card. So whenever I need one card, I do not get I get other cards but not the one that I need. <laughs> never. It never happened. So we can attach uh, Erika's hospitality. So maybe we will get the goods for next turn, but of course we don't, because why? So uh, we already have a Jirachi. Uh, do we need another one? Maybe yes, maybe not. What's this energy? But uh, the unit energy. Okay. I kind of want to keep the electro power though, and the switch. So I'm going to. To sacrifice the Titan Liza here to get another Zapdosis or the Coco. Coco is actually good here. And then retreat Zapdos or the KO. We take a switch. <laughs> Not the best, not the best card. So he promotes already. So he, he could he could attach um, he could attach a, a, a double colorless now. So he has an Alola Mag, which is bad because we have a Jirachi. So we need to take to try and okay he, he conceded it. Anyway, if he had a double colorless, I would have used the power. He would have knocked out knocked out uh, knock us the, our knock, knocked our Zapdos out. Then I would have um, used the. Tabu Koko Prism Star ability, assign to energy, promote the uh, put uh, the Tabu Koko GX into play, assign uh, three energy to so assign him uh, three en the three energies to him, promote him, use the two electro power and use the possibly the GX. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, three. No, no. Uh, yes, I need to use the GX because I then I would do 150 plus two electro power is 210. We get the KO over the, over the Likarok, and once we deal with the Likarok, we are good against that deck. The Liga Rock is the main men menace that we have, that he has towards us, at least, because it has weaknesses. He has weakness against Jolteon, against uh, Zera or uh, we, we have resistance of Zapdos, but that doesn't really matter. That doesn't really matter. So uh, now we <laughs> we won for the first for the fourth time in a row. We won the coin flip. That really, really never happens. We have no basics. In a game, in a, it's crazy. So when when you start winning, when you are on the win streak, this game, the online the online the TCG, TCGO basically would do everything in his power to make you lose, which means that in a game in a deck with around 15, 16 basic Pokemon, we get no basic, and when we do get the basic, the only one we get is an Absol, which is the worst basic, the worst card that we could possibly wish for in a in such in this scenario. So in the scenario in which we need a basic Pokemon in the beginning. So we are playing against the Lost March. I would use a Cynthia, but I cannot use a Cynthia because I need to get my Jirachi. So with the Nest Ball and energies, and I need to use. Okay, I will not use a Switch because uh, I want to keep the Switch for later. I will retreat him, and also I will have a, an energy in the discard pile, which I actually do want to to have for the. Um, Coco Prism Star to use 
Yeah, okay, let's get another Cynthia, but it's not going to be helpful. Okay, that's one of really one of the worst uh, start that we could possibly wish for. It's really, really one of the worst. So uh, the matchup with this with the nozzle match is tricky because technically we uh, we are favored ish as we can get the KO or one hit KO over them every single time. But so do they basically. After a while, they will be able to get the KO over us uh, in every single way. So it could become, it could, um, no, okay, this is really bad. The Marsh Shadow is really bad. I wanted to use the Cynthia next turn. Wait, maybe he did not use the ability. He did not use the ability for some reason. Maybe misclicked, I guess, due to, uh, basing on his reaction, I assume he misclicked. Uh, yeah, he's going to use Nuzzle. I love this deck. The Nuzzle Marsh is really funny. It's really fun to play. Uh, and it's uh, consistent, maybe not, but it's not a bad deck. It's not a bad deck uh, at all. It's a nice deck, actually. It definitely is a nice deck to play. Uh, so we're going to Stellar Wish, hopefully for a nest ball. No, we don't get definitely. We definitely do not get a nest ball. So I'm going to use it just a Cynthia here. I would have wanted a nest ball to get the Zapdos, but yeah. Yeah, of course we have a lot of a lot of cards. F oh, fortunately, did not use the Marshadow for some reason. Okay, we are good. We are very good now. You can, you can retreat and get the first KO with the Zapdos. Uh, that's why I was looking for the Zapdos, <laughs> because we can start taking KOs. The thing is, uh, with uh, that, what, as I was saying before, this matchup is tricky because the first one getting the KO. The well, the f one getting the first KOs, it's in a favorable position for the rest of the game because the the best the like the best thing that can happen is that uh, you trade KOs every turn. But if you trade KOs every turn, then the first one, the one who got the first KOs, is going to win in the prize uh, in the prize cards race because yeah, it's pure it's simple mathematics. So um, we are in a good position right now because we took the first one. With the first KO, also, it's going. To, he's not going to be able to knock us out uh, soon. So we need. He need. He needs six Pokemon in the lost zone. So he, assuming that he does not have another Skiploom, because otherwise he would have already evolved. He, he will put the two Amolga in the in the in the lost zone. So it's four. So he still uh, doesn't have a knockout over the Zapdos, which is good for us. Well, it's most likely going to have it now because he will pick. He will. He will. Either draw a Trumbic or a, or a Skip Blue. A Nest Ball. To get who? Oranguru? No, another Opip. It doesn't seem to have other evolution. If he does, if he, he also energies because he did not attach them. So yeah, we're in a good position now. We could, again, we're going to go two prizes ahead. Which is huge. It's re it really is for this kind of for this kind of deck. So we're going to use the uh, Volcan area to get the switch, so that we could switch the Jirachi, use Stellar Wish, and then and then um, retreat the Jirachi and attack with the Zapdos. Hopefully we could get also a good map for the next turns, but we don't. So we have a Cynthia already, and we could use uh, Nerica's Hospitality, but we don't get it, of course. Well, then uh, I will take a Lily, I guess. We don't have any anyone in the bench or in the discard file, okay? So let's take the second KO. <laughs> Again, the thing is, uh, what it, what it can happen now that is that so I should have not taken the Cynthia anyway because now I have this card which is completely useless, um, and it will it will make me draw less cards with the with the Lily, but yeah, it's fine. So he now has the KO over the Zapdos. So now we need to be sure to have always a Zapdos ready to get the KO over the Jumpluff, Jumpluffs, Jumpluff faces, Jumpluffs, and we need to get a Eevee too. Uh, to so that we are able to uh, use the GX and be invulnerable for one turn. So yeah, he has all the jump bluffing game in play now. 
So now we really, we really need the, to have the Zapdos constantly ready to attack. Well, ready to attack is not a problem because we have the Tapu Koko and uh, two energies in the discard pile. Well, maybe he doesn't have it. Oh, he's using the Ultra Boost. And that is good for us because it means that maybe he does not have that many energy in hand. So once we knock out this jump up, and we will knock out this jump. Okay, that's really, really bad. But yeah, what can you do? So I'm not going to risk. Oh, wait, let's first use the Stellar Wish. Because exactly, we could get the Nest Ball. So let's go with the let's go with the Zapdos so far. We don't need to risk getting the Jolt. Oh, it's the last one. We don't risk to we don't need to risk getting the Jolt. Yeah. We can we can manage so far for for a bit longer with the with the Zapdoses. Let's use a Lily for two just because then later we are going to use the Shira the um, the Cynthia. And let's take the KO. So we have to again. We are two prizes ahead in the price race, which is good. We also get the K the the Coco GX, which is <laughs> well, it, gr it grants us one KO, which is okay. So now uh, he has all the jump bluff. Uh, no, he just did one jump bluff. Ah, okay, yeah, he lost the non pip before. Okay, it's going to uh, okay for the first time we don't care about the Cynthia losing the Cynthia. Using a GX though is uh, not ideal because then he's going to be able to get two prizes, of course. So even if he loses all the jump bluff, he's still going to have Natu that can attack us. So that's what I'm saying. We, as long as I cannot play, the, uh, I, ca I can avoid playing the GXs. I will avoid uh, playing the GXs. So for example, next turn, uh, I might take the use the Rescue Stretcher and then the Volkner. To get that, I will put two Zapdoses um, in the deck because now it's going to KO this one. So I'm going, uh, I'm going to get two Zapdoses uh, in the deck and draw them with the Nest Ball that I will get from the Volkner. So yeah, I'm going to play the play this game GX less, <laughs> even if I do. Maybe the only last turn, of course. If last turn we are, we need one KO somehow, then yeah, we can do. I can use the combo with the Cocos. But if we don't, uh, then I'm going to stay GX-less this game. And it's it's generally a safe, uh, um, a good choice. It's generally a very good choice to do, uh, a very good um, approach to a game against the Nuzzle March. Because you just simply not allow them to get two, two prizes in one hit. And yeah, then it becomes a prize race and the faster one wins, basically. But at least you don't give them any advantage that they would instead have if they if you play a GX, but if you play a GX, they knock it knock it, knock that out and they take two prizes. So let's remove this shrine just because I don't I, they are completely useless to me right now. And I will take the EV just in case. Uh, then yeah, rescue stretcher, shuffle three Pokemon. We will put the two Zapdoses. Use the Stellar Wish because here yeah, you always use the Stellar Wish. Get a Nest Ball, very good. You can take the, one of the Zapdoses with the Nest Ball and use the Volkner to get the energies and another Nest Ball, which we cannot get, but yeah, we will get the Ultra Ball instead. Then attach, retreat the Jirachi, and get the KO. So yeah, yeah, that's really that's really the power the. Um, the correct approach to have. Oh, we got the last Zapdos that was in the prices. So that's, I think, that's the correct approach uh, against the uh, Lost March uh, deck is to try and play less GX as possible because you don't want to give them two prizes. Uh, of course, provided that you can play without GX. So, uh, for example, uh, uh, Likarok Zorark will struggle a, a bit, I guess, in playing with. I don't know why because I don't play the deck, but I, I'm assuming it would uh, struggle a bit. In playing non GXs because he has no like it's only he only has it only has GXs uh, whether it's uh, Zoroark or or Likarok. so on all his attacker are GXs that's what I'm saying so let's use this power here I'll give them an energy 
So right now we have uh, at least two Zapdoses ready. So we are in a pretty good position. We can use a Stellar Wish for sure, why not? Get the Titan Liza. Not that we are going to need it, but we can discard it for sure. So we can discard the Titan Liza and the Zero Aura to get the Jolt here for next turn. So that we can conclude with style. Anyway, this is a perfect sub so in the previous games, in the previous game we have seen how the deck is consistent in its whole. Uh, because you can vary, you can have a different strategies every time, we can use different you can rely on different Pokemon, you can rely on the Coco, you can rely on the Jolteon, you can rely on the Zapdoses of course. But this so we saw all that in the in the in the um, other games. But in this game we could witness the power of this Zapdos. Of the, of the Zapdos itself, not the deck, but the Zapdos specifically. Uh, because we have seen how, how fast can it be to even f to be even fast to the point that it was even faster than Lost March in setting up and in starting dealing damage and in taking KOs. It was starter that it was faster, and this allowed us basically to steamroll, to steamroll uh, the, our opponents uh, because he basically did not have time to react. He did not have time to react, he couldn't uh, take the first KO, we took the first one, so we are not going to get the KO with the Jolteon. Oh, actually we, we can, with the Electro Bullet, yes. Also he has weaknesses, but yeah. Yeah, whatever. So it was a pretty much, we, it, this game, the, this last game proved what's the power of the Zapdos. Not necessarily of the deck, the Zapdos Jirachi deck, or nor the archetype, but the power of the Zapdos itself. In fact, it's an MVP, MVP with 50, 550 damage dealt. But that is just could decide. We decided the pace of the game by taking the first KO. Then, okay, he had some troubles also. He did not use the Marshadow. Otherwise, things could have gone differently. Uh, but still, but still, I'm pretty confident in these games. Uh, uh, that these games are showing showed showed up. Yeah, uh, what what this card can do, what this deck can do, and what this card can do. And in conclusion, I would say that uh, you got a pretty nice idea now on why this deck is so played, why this deck is winning so many tournaments in these all different variants, of course, that maybe we can analyze in the future. Maybe we will analyze some other uh, variants of this for sure. Uh, but uh, because this is one is it, this is just one that I uh, that I played at some at, uh, at some tournaments, uh, at some at, at the league cup, but we will analyze for sure also the other ones when we have the possibility in the upcoming videos. Uh, but uh, I feel I'm pretty sure that this video gave an idea of why this deck is so powerful right now, and it's all thanks to this card. This is a very oh well, this card and the Jirachi, of course, uh, and they are all uh, they synergize very well. It's also very fun to play, honestly, and it's not that easy though. It's not the simplest deck. So if you if you are approaching the um, TCG now, uh, that is not the deck I would suggest. Maybe because it's kind of tricky. You need to. Well, it's not that you just need to have a good understanding on uh, the t on the rules of the TCG in general, in, in terms of retreating and not retreating. For example, you can retreat just once per turn. Uh, so you need to combine that with the switches card that you are playing. Also, uh, you need to know you need to have a good uh, knowledge of what's inside your deck uh, be to uh, be able to know on what you can rely and what you cannot rely on. Um, whether it's GXs or Zapdoses, because you can do both, and that's the strength of this deck, and I c will not say that enough. Uh, so it's not, again, it's not the easiest deck to start with, but it's a really fun deck to play, it's a really strong deck. Uh, I recommend you try it, you test it on the ladder and see and see what's up and how it goes. Uh, we will go, we will uh, see in the next videos, we will going to explore other archetype and maybe easier decks. Uh, that can be played even by uh, beginners. Not that that cannot be. This one can be played, but uh, maybe you will struggle in finding some success. Uh, of course, if you really like it, if you really like the Zapdos, don't don't give up. Keep playing. Uh, first of sooner or later, uh, you're going to get um, you're gonna get the hang of the deck, and you're going to be amazing with it because the deck is amazing. Oh, that being said, uh, that's it for today. Uh, please, if you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, we stream on Twitch, sure. Twitch, Twitch.tv/slash Mystery Lake, Mystery underscore Lake. Okay, 
so please follow up uh, follow up on twitch as well i will leave the link in the description uh, because we do live there also it's also a matter of building and testing but uh, it's just uh, in live so it's real time basically that's pretty much it okay thank you i hope you enjoyed and see you next video bye bye